What is up everybody? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. You don't know. My name is Sarah Sarah and this is where I pick up my life and experiences. How the dial is special. Oh and if you hear any noise in the background of my video, the dial is machine makes a lot of noise. And also there are construction workers outside working on building the hospital. So if you hear any noise, it's either that or that, okay? So that I hope you all like, comment, share. And subscribe to my channel, like of that is special. So yes guys, if you are watching my background, I am in Dallas. It's Saturday morning. And I am in Dallas today. This is my chill spot. Check. So chill with me a little. Let's see how my Dallas is going to go today. So as you guys can see this is Dallas machine. I am not going to go into too much detail with it. I hope one day I get a nurse to really explain what how the dialysis machine works for you. But as you can see, my hand is all grabbed up and I have two cuts coming out from my hand. So the red one takes the blood away from my hand, passes it through the machine, through this thing right here. Passes it through this thing right here, which is a filter. And then goes back down into the blue and I'm back into my hand. So it's not like it drain out of my blood and then put it back inside of me so I am fully awake. It is not painful because I'm not feeling anything. You can see I can move my hands and everything. So I'm not feeling anything. And think of it as like an extension to my nervous system okay so this is just an extension blood flow back inside nothing so i am just chilling oh i am back on my four hour shift so i just chill for four hours that's about the reality to check it so yeah i don't know if I don't know if you guys can see the numbers on your screen, but today I have, today I weighed an amount of 70 kilos and my dry weight is at 68 kilos right now. So I am removing 2.8 kilos of fluid and toxin today. So the nurse normally programs the machine before she put me up on it. So this is my time right now, as you can see, I am at 3.44, so about 16 minutes has gone already, and this is the amount that I am removing, it's 2,800, that is 2.8, 2 .8, you can see that, check, and the rest of what I did, I will get a minute to explain that one here, okay? So, this is the from speed, so it's like at 4, that's the speed that I normally put my phone to run my dialysis circulation. So yeah guys, it's dialysis, it's my chill spot, and I'm just relaxing. Okay. Oh yeah. I am right now in the private room. It's just one little square with one machine. I kinda like that room, it's private and I get to freestyle on my camera, okay? So it's one of my favorite spots in the holiday. Uh, it's not that I don't like being around people, but even if I am around the other patient in the lab area of all the machines, I don't normally talk much. I'm a very quiet person. Plus, because of my slight hearing problem, I kind of avoid having this type of conversation. So like I'll be like, I'll try to avoid talking to the patients across the room because most times I'll be like, uh -huh, what you say, what you say. I don't like when that happens, so I kind of avoid really conversing with people because of that. Um, yeah. 
Okay. And anyway, if you have any questions you want to know about me, about the LAC, feel free to leave so in the comment section below. And tell me what you're thinking, what you know, what you want to know. Anything at all you want to ask me, personal and all, I don't mind. It's always good to ask questions, okay? Um, yeah, so let's talk a little about what I do during the RAC. Now, since I am stuck to the machine, I am sitting in a chair. It is a very comfortable chair, it's a recliner. So let me show you how it goes back. This chair is quite comfortable. I think I can get one to open a room. So, you know, during the day, like you know, sometimes I can sleep properly and have to sit up to sleep. I think that might come in really handy in that case. Is that? Anyway, so some of the other things I do while I'm like most times I always have my phone in my hand because I'm in this. Okay. It gets really boring at times. I mean, like to sit in one place for four hours, it gets really boring sometimes and really uncomfortable sometimes. So, so now and then I can stand and stretch my legs a little. Let me show you. Yes, yeah, so I am standing right now, right next to the machine. You can fold me. Sometimes according to how you move the machine might alarm and there is nothing to call on it for then because I know a little about the machine. So this button here is the reset button. So I like to press it once, press it another time, and I am back on schedule. And also I get to do a pressure check every hour mark. So indeed. The machine has its own pressure cuff on it. So this right here is the pressure cuff. It's very simple to use. You open it. This is the hose connected to the machine. So you put the hose in down. Right about the center of the hand. Strap it up. Try to fit. And then relax and you press this button right here. That's it. I just checked my own pressure. Thank you, guys. And my pressure is a little high today. I don't know. It is really supposed to be low, but for the past time it has been a little high. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I am. Sleeping enough, I am sleeping normal. I am eating properly. I even exercise now and then. I am not doing no strenuous work, so I honestly can't tell why my pressure is still high. As I said, sometimes it gets real boring on the machine. And you know, sitting back in a chair and a recliner, sometimes I fall asleep. I sleep a little. The nurses come to check on me every hour. 
this kind of culture. They represent it a lot of one meal while on a garlic machine. And I'm I mostly eat a light meal, so most of the time they have a sandwich, like a bread and something to eat. That's what I love eating while I'm dialyzing. You are allowed to take in some fluid, so I always work with my flat. Yes, yeah. I have some very cold juice inside of that. And I don't normally drink all what that is inside of that. I would mostly drink like half of it while I'm dialyzing, because I try my best to control my fluid as uh, much as I can. Um, if I drink too much at one time, then I'll take the habit of, of always drinking a lot. Like whenever I want to drink something, I always want to drink a lot. So I control my fluid at home. I try my best to control it in Dallas as well. Just to get used to the drinking of little amounts, it helps me a lot of controlling my weight like that. I also try to stick to my diet while on dialysis. Less toxin, less fluid you have in your body to remove, then the stronger you feel. And I've realized that over the years while I was dialysis, so I just stick to the diet and stick to the little amount of fluid. So guys, I'm just going to relax a bit and I'll be back with you when I'm on my halfway mark. Okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so guys, I'm a little past my halfway mark. I don't know if you can see, but I have an hour and 43 minutes remaining. I just had my pressure check and it went down a bit. So now we got 150 over 101. It was a bit higher than that this morning, it was over 108 this morning. But it's still not at a decent position as the year. So, I um, two more pressure checks, one in the next hour, and then one when I'm done. And guys, yeah, four hours is like, four hours take forever, okay? I feel like I've been here for like eight hours already, and it's only two hours long. So yeah, this time takes like forever, like every day, it took forever. But I'm going to get through it, no sweat, check. So guys, at my half hour mark, that's the time I mostly eat while I'm on dialysis. So today I am having a home style chicken sandwich. Like it. It's mainly bread with shredded chicken inside of it. Then I put a little mayonnaise and a little ketchup in there as well. So, Big up to my mom for keeping me locked on the food, eh? And if one day I ever tell her to make it for me, I'll do it myself. She might put me outside, so I cannot do that. Okay? So yeah. And in case you guys wonder if I'm going to eat in front of you all, I don't think so. I'm kind of shy, so I don't really like people to see me eating. So I am going to kill that sandwich, and I'll get back to you in a bit, okay? So guys, I'm finally on my last hour. So let's talk a little bit more if you don't mind spending a few extra minutes with I and I, CRF. <laughs> anyway, so some of the other things that I do while I'm on reality. Um I listen to a lot of music because I really love listening to music while I'm chilling. Another thing that I do is I'm always on my phone. If I'm not listening to music from my headphones, I'm either on WhatsApp or either on YouTube watching videos and all that. I'm part of two WhatsApp chat groups. The number one group is my family and they keep me sane most of the time. My second favorite group is a group of Dominican YouTubers. And they are all from Nature Isle, some of them live overseas. But they are all, with, they are all from the Nature Isle. And I must say that is one of the best groups I've ever joined. I have joined a lot of group chats before, but I did not see them in any of them. But that YouTube group chat, yeah. You have some really, really, really awesome people inside there, okay? 
All right, I also speak to myself a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sometimes you're boring. Internet not working, so you can't WhatsApp anybody. Or you have data, you can't WhatsApp anybody. Or you just don't feel like listening, I just don't feel like listening to music. So I just sit down and maybe like talk to myself a little. Uh, just to keep my mind running. I can just like take my mind off of the machine and everything that is going on. Just to keep my mind running. Talk myself about ideas, about ways of improving myself, ways of moving forward. You know? Just simple stuff. I know everybody. Everybody just talk to themselves now and then. That is like a normal thing for everybody to do. So if you do that, let me hear you say so in the comment section. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyways. When I join here, because I'm removing 2.8 kilos, I will be about, let's say, 5 or 6 pounds lighter. I know it takes some people like months of exercise to lose that amount of weight and I lose that in like 4 hours. Isn't that awesome? You have to do what you need to do. Anyway, so let me tell you. One day, right? I finished that, you see. But that day I removed like 4 kilos. So I was exactly 8 pounds lighter. If I could tell you, when I was outside of the hospital gate, that is in Goodway, right? If you know Dominica, you know. When I was outside of the hospital gate, I look here in Australia, right? But at the same time, it had some high wind, wind was blowing. So, I opened my umbrella and no one opened my umbrella, kind of wind passed. So I like, you know, you have the handle rolling. And then I put my hand up to hold it so high up on the umbrella. So like I watch up. Now the wind was so strong. When I watched um, I tell him about David, why be there now? Not actually down the boulevard by the port. You will not really take me off by the hospital and bring me all the way down by the boulevard. Anyway, <laughs> I just joking about it, man. That can never happen. No, but if that happened, that, that, that would be cool. I would like to experience something like that. Right? Yeah, like before, I was and I had umbrella and wind blowing. I just open it and jump a little to see if that would actually happen. But that never happened, man. It's just a little fantasy in my head, right? <laughs> anyway, it's not being boring, that's called it, that's called me to talk now. I know most of all you know me as a quiet person, well people that know me personally, they know me as a quiet antisocial people. But don't be fooled my people, honestly, at home, I am the most pesty pest at home. I'm the most troublesome person at home, my family, everybody has called me troublesome. But to the outside people, they would find nothing possible for somebody to call me troublesome. Check. Imagine once my mother even told the nurse, you only have to know how Cyrus be at home. Or you'll be surprised in a second, like, oh, I can never believe that. Cyrus is not trouble at all, like, that's it, my nurse. That's it, that's it. Cyrus is not trouble at all, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, I try. I try a lot to, like, mingle with people and to socialize. But sometimes it just doesn't feel like me. Sometimes it just feels odd like when I am talking to people because I'm not a man of plenty words. I don't know how to have a conversation going on. But I'm working on that and I'm making good progress, okay? I'm also practicing to eat in front of people but I'm not ready to go out there and do it in front of everybody yet. But it's a working process, okay? So, anyways, I have like half an hour remaining. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to record the how I get off how I get disconnected from the machine but I'll try my best to okay I'll have to bag in with the nurse to see if she let me record her disconnecting me from the machine okay so I'll be back in a few hours still you know also I'll be back very soon okay okay so guys I did not wait for the end of my session because the construction sounds were very, very, very loud, as you can still hear it. So, I can stop up and everything, I'm outside. So, I'm going to start my journey home.
Taylor Kill, let me leave you a little quote from one of my favorite songs, which says that God is always there, He never lets you down, and don't you have no fear, be all you can be out there. Put God first, and everything else in our life shall appear. So it doesn't know everybody. I've been enjoyed this vlog, and I know my name is Arthur, and thank you all for watching, and do enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.